Okay, let's see what I can do on this possession. We tied up. What you got for me? Oh, ankle breaker. Hold up. I don't even got that signature skill. Hold on. Swing that back, Leonard. Let's see. Pump fake. Oh, my goodness. You falling for that. Blake Griffin, baby. And I'm only 6'1". What you got for me? You see me hanging on the rim? What you got for me? Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Hot Pod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. And today is D-Day. Um, in my career mode, I was nine games in. I played a hell of a lot of blacktop. I played a few private matches with my friends, a few private black tie matches, and now I got enough VC to get some signature skills. So with that being said, it's time to purchase. You guys already know what I'm going for. If you guys saw my Facebook updates, my Twitter rants, I was going, you know, trying to give out ideas about what I wanted. So we're about to jump into that. But what I do want to say is, if you want to get VC, you can't just play my player mode. I'm going to tell you that now. I'm, I'm fairly far into my career, and it comes to find out that even if you get an A-plus in my career, it's only 100 VC. You need to add it up. You can play Blacktop, which is a game of only six minutes, and get 150 VC plus 10 if you win. And I even heard about a couple people playing Association modes getting 750 VC per game. So, when you look at the VC that a player has, you always got to go through, oh, did they buy it? Did they per Listen, what you need to think about is how much actual time has that player put in? If you go to my Raptor page and you see that I'm hardcore, I got 32 hours locked in gaming on Xbox 360 with NBA 2K13. The proof is in the pudding. I play the game all the time. But let's get out of that. Let's go into the signature skills. It's time for me to purchase. I got 4,958 VC. And the first one that we are going for, we going for that finisher. It's no doubt about it. It costs 1,000 VC and I'm going for level one. I can only purchase level one right now. I want to get five total signature skills so I can have those locked in so I can know what I need to upgrade as my career goes along. Now, of course, if I was a player that would buy VC, why wouldn't I go for level three? <laughs> I'm just saying. So I'm going to go down to the next one. I don't want Acrobat. I don't want Spot Up Shooter, but hey, <laughs> let's talk about the shot creator. Now, the type of player I am, even if I get past a defender, I'm that guy that likes to create his own shot. I never want to be in a situation where I'm only a spot up shooter and I can't create nothing off the dribble. What type of guy would that be? Now with spot with shot creator, you can get more space for your mid-range jump shots, for your three-point jump shots. So I had to roll with it, man. I'm gonna be more of a shooter this year. I'm still gonna be athletic. You saw in the first clip I was doing my thing dunking on people. But moving on to the next one. I know a lot of people wanted me to get ankle breaker. But come on, man. I'm from Dom City. <laughs> I've been doing Dom City for a while now. It's only right that I get Dahmer. I want to put passes in the right position for different players. I want to make sure that my bounce pass is on point. I want to make sure when I throw the oop, they go get it without even having a care in the world. <laughs> you feel me? So moving on to the next one. I don't want to read too much more about that. I know I got to get three levels. It's going to be kind of hard, man. But some reason, somehow, you know, you guys got to realize that 2k servers aren't that strong that's why a lot of people was having problems you know with their vc switching the uh, skill points they didn't even have to play offline maybe this server just went down at that time and they just got effed over but moving on to the next signature skill that i'm grabbing i'm grabbing floor general it's only right come on y'all now out of floor general you see what the current level is it's level one you only get one shot at this so let's see what we got I'm about to read out a few things for you guys, see what we're going through. As soon as I hit the confirm button, okay, okay, my bad. It's three levels in floor general, so that means that I'm making my teammates better every time that I'm on the floor. So moving on to interceptor, come on, y'all. What do y'all know me for? Y'all know me for getting them cookies out the passing lane. I put my hand in the cookie jar. <laughs> you feel me? So, But you ain't going to see me pull out nothing crazy. But we going to go the other way every time somebody try to mess with my passing lanes. I'm not playing. Now, what this signature skill does is it gives you a boost in your vertical and your steal when you're trying to go for the ball. I've gotten a pass out of midair that a person tried to throw in a down low post. 
it was looking crazy. My man jumped so high, I said, yo, where that vertical come from? That's crazy. But I just wanted to show you guys a few things. My social media feed, you can see this right here. You can tell from our ninth game that we actually won because we was doing our thing on the court. But I know a lot of people were still asking about that first clip that they saw. This game that was my 10th game was the actual game for me to showcase my signature skills. And I just wanted to go over a few of the stat lines, a few of the scores, and show you guys that, in fact, Playing on Hall of Fame, you're not going to win all the time, especially against good teams, especially against good people like D. Rose. I'm just putting that out there, man. I had 12 and 14. I didn't have not one turnover. I had 14 assists, not one turnover. You can't tell me that that Dahmer isn't where it's at. You can't tell me that that floor general isn't where it's at. But we couldn't stop people like D. Rose, Luau Dang. We couldn't stop these guys, man. They were going absolutely ape shit. 